Hello everyone, DJ's Aviation here. Welcome back to another video of mine. Thank you very much for tuning back in for either another video or for your first video. Today I wanted to once again discuss Qantas. It seems the news coming from them is just endless and this is honestly really exciting as it means the airline is either progressing or undergoing troubles, but in this case it's the more positive of the two. Bloomberg, who have a website online, have recently been reporting quite a lot of interesting news regarding Qantas and other airlines. Um, they've actually been releasing exclusive interviews. That is where we essentially get all our information from today. The CEO of Qantas, Alan Joyce, in a recent interview shed some light on questions that a number of people had, with most notably him talking about their new 787s. The quotes I'm getting are from a video, so I will try my best to get the words he says correct, but I may miss a few. He was mainly asked about the 787s, as we mentioned. Joyce focused in the first portion of the interview on how the 787 will essentially represent comfort on an airplane. These days, a number of airlines configure aircraft to fit the most passengers. However, Joyce has gone against that typical idea and opted for a smaller cabin with around 230 seats. This enables him to really harness and strengthen that comfort aspect of flying, especially as the 787s are key to the airline's expansion plans already penciled for London and hopefully in the future, more of Europe. Joyce also goes on to saying, if you're travelling from Sydney to Melbourne, we know you want direct services. This again is another possible hint towards the A350 ULR and or 7778X being purchased alongside the 7879 aircraft. Previously stated, not only in my videos, but also on the web, uh, Joyce has contacted Airbus and Boeing regarding aircraft that can do these routes, but he also says that the A350 ULR and 777X, while not directly mentioning those aircraft, cannot do what he wants just yet. Joyce goes more in depth with Project Sunrise in a short extract that I find really interesting, which I'm going to play now for you. Non-stop Sydney to LA and to New York. You're in talks with Airbus and Boeing about that. What sort of fly, uh, plane, I should say, do you have in mind for this and how are those talks progressing? Well, both Airbus and Boeing have an aircraft in production or it's going to be in production uh, that we think can nearly do it, not quite there. And the challenge with Project Sunrise is to get both manufacturers to give an aircraft that can do with full passenger and freight payloads. They're getting closer and there's a lot of work done with our engineers, our pilots and their engineers to make it happen. This is a game-changing aircraft. You know, we've flown on the Kangaroo route, route now uh, for over 80 years. And it used to be called the Kangaroo route because of all the stops on the way. At one stage, there were 13 stops. Um, uh, now, with these direct services, you can do a non-stop. And the convenience that introduces for the travelling public is immense. And we think it's a game-changing aircraft for the Qantas group. It's evident that Joyce really wants to focus in on the long term, especially with a key look at expanding the Qantas network. For example, on longer routes that Qantas aircraft either don't serve or another airline requires you to stop over more than once to get to your end destination. This further showcases how future aircraft are hoping to change the game for the airline completely. For me, these discussions are interesting as putting Qantas in London directly now really brings up the question that are airlines like British Airways, Air France, Lufthansa and more capable of operating back to Australia with heavier demand now to travel to Europe from Australia. He also reports that the Perth to London and return flights, which start in a little over a month, are actually doing really well and are ahead of what Qantas expected. Which again isn't a huge shock to me, um, it seems that passengers really want that direct service rather than wasting an hour, as Alan Joyce said, stopping over. I guess everyone is entitled to their own opinions, but for me I quite like the opportunity to stretch my legs after 12-14 to 14 hours or so rather than continuing on. Again, that's just me, but I know for a fact if I managed to fly business or first class, my opinions would probably change. Thank you very much for watching another video of mine. Feel free to leave me your thoughts on this 787 for Qantas and future aircraft in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in my next one, hopefully. Peace. Oh, well,